Our brotherhood together is unique. We know each other's family. We know their kids. We know the problems they go through. Uh, we're with each other more than we, most of the time, we are with our own family. Being a lineman, being part of the crew, it, it, it is a brotherhood out here. Already here 40 hours a week, and then you get called in on the weekends and you're with them again. You're on storm, you're living together in the hotel room. You're in the truck with somebody all day long. I mean, you, you get close. Because you want to go home at the end of the day. Everybody, everybody has to look out for each other, our brother's keeper. It can be so dangerous because you never know what happens from day to day. You know, each, each job is a different place. Uh, you got different things that happen, so everybody has to help and watch out for each other. Line work is dangerous work. We have a monthly state uh, safety meeting. They go over near misses, uh, accidents that's happening at other co-ops, how they could be prevented. We'll divide the crews up. One crew will come in and they'll go through like a two-week course. And it's, you know, protect yourself, covering up, uncovering, you know, doing the job safely. Our safety is number one. Uh, the crew, we look after each other. You know, we, we have learned to see what the dangers are. We position our trucks to where they're somewhat help barricade us when we do work, especially on the side of roads and highways. The older guys have been doing it a long time. They they watch you pretty closely. I mean, if you're gonna mess up, they'll remind you real quick. But they're they're always looking out. They're not gonna let you get hurt. At the end of the day, I mean, main thing is let's go home safe to our family. I mean, we like to all cut up, have a good time. We're joking the whole time we're working, but at the same time, we're watching each other's back. And that's what it boils down to. You just keep an eye out for each other, and as long as we all go back home. Well, it's, it's, it's all family oriented. I mean, those guys, they look after each other. I mean, if you got a right away guy out there, he's, you know, mostly he cuts right away, but they're also, they have, they're familiar with the line crew operations, the right away maintenance, you know, with program. It's continuous maintenance. The, Machines tour the system. We cut dead trees. Uh, you know, in the last couple of years, we've had some drought months, and it's killed a lot of trees, a lot of pines, a lot of hardwood. Anything that we could see a hazard that will take a line out, knock it down, break a pole, anything like that, we try. We try to take care of it. You know, as we see it, we're doing everything we can to keep the power from going out. But eventually, it's going to go off. There's going to be a tree fall from back out in the in the woods. It's going to come out and reach the line. There's going to be something. You know, eventually, it's going to go off, and we'll be there to get it back on. We have a lot of technology coming into this room here. We have. Uh, calls coming from customers coming into this room, status points from devices out in the substations or even text alerts, alerts from our uh, Coosa Valley Electric app. All that funnels into our outage management system. When a call comes into the operations center here, typically we have a dispatcher. They start getting alarms, have a siren search going off, and they know that a call has come in so they can look at the outage management screen and see the call and see exactly where the call is, you know, meter number, service arrest location, and then they start rolling to the outage location. When the trouble hits, we try to do our best to get it on as quick as possible. We know it's a service, and it's, but it's a responsibility of ours to get it back on as safely and as quickly as possible. We take calls day and night. We've done it so much, so long now, it's, it's really like a, a normal day to us. We really don't think nothing about it no more. We just know that's part of the job and what we've dedicated our life to doing. Seven o'clock, get our trucks ready, get material that we need, load poles, and then by about eight o'clock, we're usually rolling out the gate. We'll just get to work, whether it be pole set, and change the poles out or outages like today. Everybody has a different job. It's a different day-to-day -day basis. It's, you never know what you're going to do next. You got to be really aware of your surroundings. We're moving poles and the poles aren't light. They're up there above our heads working. Things fall. My crew loves a challenge. 
they do like the, a challenge to them. They have to be tested. The most dangerous part of the job is holding 25 kV, 14.4 voltage, you know, with your gloves, moving it, just working with it. If we have a major storm, we're, everybody works. You know, everybody, linemen maybe cut trees and right away guys out there helping to straighten up wire. I mean, they're all they're just kind of meshed together. Usually whenever uh, storms, you're going to work, you're going to work at night, it's going to be lightning, you're going to be climbing poles in the lightning. Going on storm and helping them, that's just great. Thing. You get out there and you just see the damage and devastation that is caused. You know you're out there to make it better. We like to do the best job we can uh, for the consumer. Uh, in the end, you know, we're doing it all for them. Get the job done and get our customers back on. This makes you feel proud that you get the lights back on.